Oakland Auditorium, Oakland, California, September 16th, 1935. Scheduled for 10 rounds. It's Small Montana versus Midget Walgast. Walgast circling to the left. Montana, the darker of the two. This for the flyweight championship of the world. The weight, Walgast 112, the flyweight limit. Montana 109 and a half. The referee is Eddie Burns, and he is the lone official in the bout. He is referee and judge. If there is to be a decision, the referee, Eddie Burns, will make it. Schedule for 10 rounds, both these men tremendously fast. Montana and Wargast fought three times. This is their second fight. In their first fight, July 3rd, 1935, at Sacramento, California, Montana won a 10-round decision. Small Montana was born in Negros, the Philippine Islands. He's 22 years of age. He is five feet, one and a half inches tall. And he weighs 109 and a half. Managed by Patty Ryan. Midget Walgast, out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. 25 years of age. He's five feet, three and a half inches tall. Weighs 112. He's managed by Frank Lascalza and Uncle and Johnny Keyes. Small Montana, looking out with that left hand. Both men pacing themselves here in the first round of the scheduled 10 rounder. The punching speed of both these men is really fantastic. Sometimes those jabs are so quick you can hardly see them. This is round three of the scheduled 10 rounder. It's a slip. And now they touch gloves, not a knockdown. Walgast, who slipped, hadn't made the flyweight limit of 112 pounds in almost three years, having boxed among the bantamweights and even featherweights and long since having seemed to desert the flyweight division. Even the New York Commission had taken away recognition from Walgast as the champion, though the California State Athletic Commission recognized him as the title holder. Walgast had a great deal of difficulty making the weight. Walgast started his ring career when he was just past 16 years of age, weighed less than 100 pounds. With his speed and boxing ability, he soon climbed to the top. Walgast took that name as a boxer because his father idolized Ad Walgast, a great featherweight early in the century. Midget Walgast's father fought as a professional in the United States using the name Mickey Williams. Small Montana out of the Philippines. He's exceedingly fast even for a little man. Small Montana is small in every respect, except his punching ability. His shoe size is four and a half. His neck size is 12. His waist is 18 inches. And he has one of the quickest left hands you'll ever see, beating Walgast to the punch time and again. Walgast is a harder puncher, Montana, the quicker. <laughs> Referee Eddie Burns has very little to do on this bout. That's the end of round three.
The pace in the bat has quickened now. Note the rhythm of small Montana. He's constantly moving up and down in beautiful rhythm. And that left hand keeps flicking out. Wolgas slips after throwing that left hook. It's not a knockdown. And again, they touch gloves. Wolgas now going at Montana. Montana backing away. Montana has speed and grace. Wolgast, better punching ability. Montana has never actually fought a fellow his size, even in his homeland, the Philippines. They just don't come that small. He can't gain a pound in weight no matter what he tries. His manager once contemplated building up to a banner weight. By feeding Montana steak, potatoes, and rich desserts for two weeks, the manager finally brought him up to 112 pounds. The next time he worked out, though, his weight tumbled four pounds, so the manager gave it up as hopeless. And he continues to fight as a flyweight. Now he's fighting for the championship of the world, as recognized by the National Boxing Association. Montana, in attempting to win the world title, is trying to emulate another countryman, Pancho Villa, who won the world's flyweight championship by knocking out Jimmy Wilde in seven rounds in 1923. Well, that was the end of the fourth round. Here they are in round eight. And the pace has not slowed one bit. If anything, Montana seems to have come on more strongly. Through the fifth, sixth, and seventh rounds, the toll of making the weight began to tell on Midget Wolgast. He isn't quite as sharp as he was in the early rounds. <laughs> Following the retirement of Corporal Izzy Schwartz, the world flyweight champion in 1929, Wolgast was matched with Black Bill and about recognized by the New York State Athletic Commission for the championship. Wolgast defeated Black Bill on a 15-round decision in Madison Square Garden on March 21st of 1930. This is round eight of a scheduled 10-rounder at the Oakland Auditorium, Oakland, California in September of 1935. The flyweight title is at stake, currently held by Wolgast. Wolgast high up on his toes, dancing away. Montana going after him. Both men belting away now. Montana is a beautiful boxer. He's slipping most of those punches. Wolgast going after him at the bell, ending round eight. Again, note the rhythm of small Montana. That shuffling movement in perfect time. Wolgast backing away. Montana connecting with a good right hand. Montana making Wolgast miss.
Remember, the decision is made by just one man, the referee, Eddie Burns. Midget Walgast looking stronger now. Matching punches with small Montana. Montana's had a total of 65 professional fights, scoring seven knockouts, winning 49 decisions, drawing in five bouts, and losing four decisions. Walgast has a record of 109 professional bouts, scoring nine knockouts, winning 72 decisions, drawing in 12 bouts, and engaging in one no-decision bout. He lost 14, he was knocked out only once. Many of his early battles are unlisted. Walgast fighting strongly now, here in this ninth round. Final round for the flyweight title. Small Montana and Midget Walgast. The pace has been tremendously fast, and now they don't seem to have slowed one bit in this final round. Montana seems just a bit quicker. Walgast, the stronger puncher. It's close. And that's it. The bout is over. Watch referee Eddie Burns. He picks up Small Montana's hand. And Small Montana is the new flyweight champion of the world and the happiest man in Oakland, California.